Welcome to the Eternal Bible Quiz YouTube channel. You are on your way to experience a journey of deep exploration of the Bible with us. Today, we will explore 21 fascinating questions, the secrets hidden in the pages of the Holy Book, and explore together the depths of faith and knowledge. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from us. For now, let's get started. Question 1. How many songs did Solomon write? A. 900 B. 300 C. 500 D. 1005 You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. 1005 No more. One king. Chapter 4, verse 32-33 in King James Version states, And he spoke three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spoke of trees, from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall. He spoke also of beasts, and of fowl, and of creeping things, and of fishes. Question 2. Which king committed suicide by falling on his sword? A. Jeroboam B. Nebuchadnezzar C. Ahaz D. Saul You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. Saul No more. 1 Chronicles chapter 10 verse 4 in King James Version states, then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword, and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. Question 3. Where was King David born? A. In Nazareth. B. In Goshen. C. In Bethlehem. D in Jericho. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. In Bethlehem, no more. Warren Samuel chapter 16 verse 1819 in King James Version states, Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse, and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. Question 4. Who was Ishmael's father? A. Abram B. Jacob C. Isaac D. Esau. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Abram. No more. Genesis chapter 16 verse 15 in King James Version states, And Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bore, Ishmael. Question 5. Who heard bad news then fell from his chair and died? A. Jephthah B. Eli C. Saul D. Miriam You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Eli. No more. 1 Samuel chapter 4 verse 15 verse 18 in King James Version states, Now Eli was ninety and eight years old, and his eyes were dim that he could not see. And it came to pass, when he made mention of the ark of God, that he fell from off the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck broke, and he died. For he was an old man, and heavy, and he had judged Israel forty years. Question 6. Who is Boaz's wife? A. Sarah B. Ruth 
C. Rebecca. D. Bathsheba. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Ruth, no more. Ruth chapter 4 verse 13 in King James Version states, So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bore a son. Question 7. Who was the father of Rachel and Lean? A. Laban B. Isaac C. Lethuel D. Jacob. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Laban. No more. Genesis chapter 29, verse 16 to 17 in King James Version states, And Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. Question 8. How many people did Jonathan and his armor-bearer kill at their first slaughter? A. M. 100 B. 110 C. 50 D. About 20 men You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, about 20 men, no more. 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 14, in King James Version states, And that first slaughter, which Jonathan and his armor-bearer made, was about 20 men, within, as it were, a half acre of land, which a yoke of oxen might plow. Question 9. Who was Aaron's wife? A. Echel. B. Sarah. C. Elisheba. D. Zipporah. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Elisheba. No more. Exodus chapter 6 verse 23 in King James Version states, And Aaron took him. Elisheba, daughter of Amminadab, sister of Nashon, to wife, and she bore him Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Question 10. Who advised Naaman to seek the prophet in Samaria for healing from leprosy? A. Elijah. B. A maid from Israel. C. His son. D. The king of Israel. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, a maid from Israel, no more, to king. Chapter 5, verse 2 through 3 in King James Version states, And the Syrians had gone out by companies, and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife, and she said unto her mistress, Would God my Lord were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. Which tribe did Moses' brother come from? A. Levite B. Benjamin C. Simeon D. Judah You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Levite, no more. Exodus chapter 4 verse 14 in King James Version states, And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well, and also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee, and when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. Question 12. 
Question 12. Who ran away and left his shirt in the woman's hands when she clung to his shirt? A. Jeremiah B. Joseph C. Moses D. Judah You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Joseph. No more. Genesis chapter 39 verse 11 towards 12 in King James Version states, And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there within. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand, and fled, and got him out. Question 13. What kind of bread did Ahimelech the priest give to David? A. Hallowed bread B. Barley bread C. Leavened bread D. Dry and crumbly bread You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Hallowed bread no more. Samuel chapter 21 verse 3 to 4 in King James Version states, Now therefore what is under thine hand? Give me five loaves of bread in mine hand, or what there is present. And the priest answered David and said, There is no common bread under mine hand, but there is hallowed bread, if the young men have kept themselves at least from women. Question 14. How many branches is the river from Eden divided into? A. 2 B. 1 C. 4 D. 3 You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. 4. No more. Genesis chapter 2 verse 10 in King James Version states, And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. Question 15. Which judge of Israel had thirty sons who rode thirty donkeys? A. Jephthah B. Samson C. Gideon D. Jair You have ten seconds. The right answer is letter D, Jair, no more. Judges chapter 10 verse 3 bar 4 in King James Version states, And after him arose Jair, a Gileadite, and judged Israel twenty and two years. And he had thirty sons that rode on thirty ass colts, and they had thirty cities, which are called Havath Jair unto this day, which are in the land of Gilead. Question 16. Which bird did Noah let out of the ark first? A. Dove B. Raven C. Eagle D. Stork You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Raven. No more. Genesis chapter 8 verse 6 to 7 in King James Version states, And it came to pass at the end of forty days, that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. Question 17. Which dynasty's king burned the scrolls of Jeremiah? A. Jehoshaphat B. Jeroboam C. Jehoiakim D. Nebuchadnezzar You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Jehoiakim No more. Jememekah Chapter 36 verse 1 Verse 22 to 23 in King James Version states, 
And it came to pass in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that this word came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire on the hearth burning before him. And it came to pass that when Jehudi had read three or four leaves, he cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth, until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. Question 18. How many days did Joseph hold his brothers captive for? A. 5 B. 3 C. 40 D. 14 You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, 3, no more. Genesis chapter 42, verse 8 to 9, verse 17 in King James Version states, And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And he put them all together into ward three days. Question 19. What was the name of Abigail's first husband? A. David B. Shimei C. Nabal D. Saul You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Nabal No more. Samuel chapter 25 verse 3 in King James Version states, Now the name of the man was Nabal, and the name of his wife Abigail, and she was a woman of good understanding and of a beautiful countenance, but the man was churlish and evil in his doings, and he was of the house of Caleb. Question 20. After the flood, how long did Noah live for? A. 150 years. B. 350 years. C. 200 years. D. 450 years. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. 350 years. No more. Genesis chapter 9, verse 28 in King James Version states, And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. 21. Who wrote the Ten Commandments onto the new stone tablets after Moses broke the first set? A. Moses. B. Not known. C. The Lord. D. Joshua. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, the Lord, no more. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 1 to 2 in King James Version states, At that time the Lord said unto me, Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make thee an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables which thou didst break, and thou shalt put them in the ark. Thank you for joining us on Bible Quiz Channel. Comment and let us know how many questions you answered correctly. Invite your loved ones and friends to join us in exploring the depths of the Bible together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you on our next journey. Goodbye and remember, sharing knowledge is truly wonderful.